Boris Johnson insisted the country has to invest billions to ease pressure in the NHS as he resisted pressure to axe a hike in national insurance. The Prime Minister said the coronavirus pandemic had put the health service under terrible strain and more money must be raised to help clear waiting lists. Ex-Brexit Secretary David Davis became the latest Conservative backbencher to call for the new levy to be scrapped. The 1.25% tax rise comes into force in April. The same month energy costs will rocket and inflation is expected to near 7%. Mr. Johnson said, the NHS has done an amazing job but it has been under terrible strain. Listen to what I'm saying, we've got to put that money in. We've got to make that investment in our NHS. What I'm telling people is, if you want to fund our fantastic NHS, we have to pay for it, and this government is determined to do so. Quote dot. The Prime Minister refused to say the increase would definitely go ahead in the spring but Number 10 later insisted he was committed to the timetable for the rise. The £36 billion that the Treasury forecasts the extra national insurance contributions will provide has been earmarked to clear the NHS backlog and then to fund social care improvements. Senior ministers are reportedly keen to delay the rise they previously approved, but Number 10 insisted the Cabinet stands behind that decision. Quote dot. Education Secretary Nadim Zahawi said going ahead with the hike was the right thing to do. The £36 billion is necessary because successive governments, of every colour have not dealt with this, he said. It is really important to remember that the highest earners, the 14% who earn the most are paying 50%, they are paying half of that contribution, and the lowest earners, 6.1 million of the lowest earners pay nothing. So it is as progressive as we can make it to deal with a problem that breaks many an individual in their old age. So it is really important to just focus on why we are doing this, why I think it is the right thing to do, because it will finally create a system of adult social care that is sustainable and deliverable without breaking families.